Yo YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Wings Top. Happy back at you guys in another video. Now in today's video, we're gonna be having a Jordan discussion. Now, as you can see right here, I do have a new pair of Air Jordan 1s, but I figured everyone on the internet's got a got a video of these. You probably guess what they are by now, but everyone's got a video, so I figured I had to do something different. So I figured I had to have a Jordan discussion today because a lot of Jordan news has been popping off this week. Now, the big news was that the Bread Floors dropped on Sneakers app. Now, a little story about that. I was watching YouTube videos on my computer and I had my phone on the charger and I was away from my phone. Of course, 30, I, I got, and the funny thing about it was is that there was this sneaky feeling in the back of my head like, these are gonna drop, like, because the official images like came up, like J23 tweeted the official images. And usually when you see him, if you follow him on Twitter, I recommend you do, but if you follow him on Twitter and he tweets out the official images of a shoe, it's likely gonna drop sometime in the week or like hours. So yeah, that's what happened. Uh, they dropped, I missed out. Um, I have the J23 app so I get the notifications and I just missed out because I wasn't on my phone. Now I'm not mad about it. I'm not like all those people who are tripping out on Twitter. Like it's not that big of a deal. It's a general release. It's gonna be like the sixes. It's gonna be like the Concords, etc. cetera. Jordan Brand's gonna drop a million pairs of these. So just be patient. You will get them, but I just didn't like people like freaking out. Like, sorry, you couldn't get them two weeks early. It's no big deal. Just wait extra two weeks. You'll be able to get pairs. I need two pairs personally because I love that shoe, especially with the Nike Air on the back. <sighs> Man, I can't wait to get it. So, like I said, wait two weeks. You'll be able to get them. It's not going to be a hard shoe to get. Knock on wood. But then more Jordan bread news is that the Jordan 1 bread is dropping on Black Friday this year, coming up in 2019. If you guys are unfamiliar, the bread dropped in 2013 and 2016. So every three years since 2013, we begin a bread one. Now the interesting thing is, is that back in 2013, I actually paid $500 for a bread one. Um, bread one is one of my favorite shoes. It's the original Air Jordan. Obviously everyone knows that, the one that got banned by the NBA. And it's, it's just a classic shoe. Like if you don't like that shoe, you don't like sneakers. But it brings me to this point is that, is it too soon? Because we, as you guys know, sneakerheads know, Air Jordan or Jordan brand is killing the Air Jordan 1. I'm not saying they're killing it, but they are just giving us colorway after colorway after colorway after colorway. And it's not stopping anytime soon. 2019, they've just been going hard. Now a little backstory on this. I remember in 2013, when Jordan ones came out, like these aren't 2013 shadows, these are the new shadows. But I remember the shadows back in 2013, the Royals and the Breads were just going for mad money because Jordan Brand made them limited. Like it was a hot commodity. Like they would only get like 25,000 pairs of release and that's like pretty limited. And I remember the Royals especially were going for like $900 back in 2013. It's crazy because now they're only going for like 300 in the recent drop, which was like two years ago. So it's crazy how times have like kind of changed. And now that Jordan Brand, it's kind of just like, we're just going to flood them. You guys like this shoe, you guys are gonna buy it. You know we're gonna buy the original Jordan Black Red. Like they can make a million pairs and they're gonna sell out. Maybe not on the day, but within days they will sell out because it's a classic shoe. Like if you don't like that shoe, you really don't like Air Jordans. Like there's no way that you don't like this shoe. I, I don't care. You could put this shoe pretty much in any colorway and people are gonna buy it. Like the color blocking, especially if it's executed well, which brings me to these. But anyways, yeah, so I mean, everyone's gonna be able to get them. I don't care. Um, personally, in my opinion, if we're gonna bring the bread high OGs back, you might as well bring them all back besides the Shadows and the Royals. You might as well bring back like the Chicago's, etc. cetera. Um, even bring back the Shattered Backboard. Uh, Shattered Backboard 3.0s are drama. I still need the original ones. So if they wanna bring those back too, I'm not gonna be mad, but the resellers will be mad, but I won't be mad. And also Union Jordan ones, I need those to come back too because I'm not gonna pay $1,200 for those. But if you wanna bring them back Jordan brand, please, 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 I would appreciate it greatly because I need a pair, but I'm not gonna pay that price tag. But anyways, let's just get into these Air Jordan ones. Honestly, I, I, I don't care that they're giving us all these colorways. I think the Jordan, obviously I love the Jordan one and it's whatever to me. It's a good shoe, it's easy to wear. And I'm happy that everyone can get one because I remember back in 2013, I couldn't get Air Jordan 1s for retail. Like I hate paying $500 for a $160 shoe. Especially Jordan 1, like everyone should have a Jordan 1 in their collection. So yeah, let's just get into these. Obviously these are the, the Crimson Tints. They're more pink to me, but uh, I don't know why they came up with the Crimson Tints. I could just call these pink. 
The outsole is actually more peach. I'll get up in there for you guys. As you can see, got a peachy outsole. These are fire in my opinion. Um, the quality, everyone wants to know about that. In my opinion, this back here is okay. But this leather is pretty nice. I'll get it up close here, get these laces out of the way. As you can see, that leather, it's all right. I mean, it's not like, it's not the greatest thing ever, but it's not bad either. Uh, for $160, it is what it is. And I actually looked at this pair, both these pairs pretty closely. It's usually when I get Jordans, there's always some quality control issues. And I will have to say, this pair that I got didn't really have any quality control issues. Like, there's always usually like some minor like scuffage on here already but this pair pretty good in my opinion so whoever made this pair shout out to you you did a good job but anyways getting into this um the one thing i will have to say about this shoe is that i don't understand these green laces um i think they could look interesting with with them in kind of this shoe just reminds me of miami now speaking of miami if Dwayne wade was still a jordan brand athlete they could have spin this shoe and made this shoe so hype. Um, if they would have just gave us some teal laces, and obviously you guys know Miami Heat have the Vice Knight uniforms. D. Wade's last season. Dropped this on the last game. Called this like a Dwayne Wade like special edition Air Jordan 1 Vice Knight. People would have went absolutely nuts over this. The shoe would be way over. The shoe would be hitting on the resale market for sure if they would have, if they could have played spun that one. But yeah, that, that would be my advice. If, if Dwayne Wade was still a Jordan brand athlete, you could have made this like a D-Wade, like PE, per se. But yeah, overall, I like it. It's a good summertime spring shoe. I mean, it's a Jordan 1. Like, I can't really hate it because it's one of my favorite silhouettes of all time. And I actually do like the color pink. I'm, I don't care. I think it looks dope. And it's something different. Like, how many people got pink shoes? So, if you could rock pink, shout out to you. I actually like rocking pink, so I don't got a problem with it. But yeah, um, it's a pretty nice shoe. Um, on the resale market, they are going for under retail. So if you want to get them, I would get them now. Because I have a sneaky feeling that as long as Jordan doesn't like just totally kill the Air Jordan 1s in my next summer, these are just like, everyone's just sick of them. Which could be the case. Could happen. They could just Everyone could just jump off the wave and be like, oh, no, these shoes are trash because... They don't go for any money and like oh, we're tired of seeing them, which could be the case. However, I feel like this shoe could be like a $300 shoe by next summer because people sleep on these now, but I don't know, man. This colorway is pretty fire in hand. Like honestly, when I got these on the sneakers app, I didn't know what I was going to do, but then I see them in hand and I'm telling you, these are fire in hand and I really enjoy this and I'm going to enjoy getting fits off in these as well. So if you want to see how I style these, follow me on Instagram. Link would be below. But yeah, anyways, that's my review on the Crimson Tints plus some Air Jordan news. Tell me what you guys think. Are they killing the Air Jordan 1s? You guys still like Air Jordan 1s? You getting sick of it? What are your thoughts? Share in the comments below. And also feel free to like and subscribe to the channel because at 100 subscribers, I will be giving away a Wingstop gift card. So yeah, there you go. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.